Good morning. It's day 23, and um, I'll start out by saying that I am feeling a uh, constant, growing, underlying state of bliss that seems to be I don't want to say showing up, it really seems to be what I've always been and have just been blocking it with deep-rooted emotions and thoughts that were like a really intense movie that I, I thought was real. And every day I discover more and more of it and clear it out and now it just seems to be this big wide open place of euphoria and possibility and the removal of nerves and the removal of, I mean, some of it's still there and I don't mean it's like I'm just this emotionless person. In fact, so many more incredible emotions are coming through. And I will just sit for a couple hours and notice um, in that time some of the deepest things that I have to take care of. Um, that I would have totally put off, uh, I end up taking care of. Um, issues in my life, things that I have to address, uh, you know, it's like in the deepest meditation, it's like, oh, did you take care of that thing with your taxes or just things that you would maybe bury in your life? Like, you can take on anything with this. In fact, you only crave taking on the most important, deepest things. And uh, you really are constantly in the steady little practice of letting go of uh, all of the things that, I don't know, if you're thinking in your shallow mind, you're going to pay attention to shallow issues, right? Um, and when you keep clearing that out, what you want to handle, what you want to take on has to match the level of depth that you're accessing in yourself. That's really an interesting revelation as I say it to you right now, but I notice that um, it's like as I go deeper and deeper, as I start out, if you're obviously if you're in a shallow mind, you're going to only look after shallow issues, like because everything seems to run you and something really deep is too heavy for you, right? Something really, a real issue, you know, if it's like, I got to get this person like me, I got to get this person like me, and you're on the shallow level, you, you're horrified to face like maybe that's because you want your mom's love or something like that so if you're in a place of shallow issues you in your mind you're only handling shallow things you only want to talk about nothing you want to go to dinner and have conversations about things that just don't access your soul because you're so horrified to access your soul so you just talk about nothing and you just go, it sure is sunny. And they go, it is. <laughs> and you go, four weeks ago, it wasn't sunny. And they go, I know that was four weeks ago. And today it was raining and then it was sunny. And you go, ah, okay. And you've just let time go by as you've made a bunch of sounds. Now, it doesn't mean some people don't sincerely want to talk about the weather. And I understand that. But sometimes we just kind of make sounds. Um to just exist and it's because we're scared to see what's deeper and sometimes we could just look within and feel what we're scared of and transcend it within seconds like just you know we get intellectual because we're scared to address a pain we feel in our body like even when you start to feel emotions in your body when you feel a little sad or you feel a little whatever, immediately your mind starts to try to make sense of it. It's like, oh, do we, is, you know, I, yeah, I'm sad, but I won't be later. Or I'm sad, but I won't be, you know, it's because of this and tries to make sense of it. And our mind is so good at making sense, attempting to make sense of what is painful versus just feeling it, just feeling it. And when you sit for a couple hours, you start feeling everything. And you'll catch your mind trying to make sense of it, but you'll just notice how shallow that is and you're deeper now because you're looking from here at this. So as I keep going deeper and deeper, this stuff doesn't even exist anymore. And new, maybe like here, maybe a little bit deeper, the shallow level is now at this level. And four months ago, this would have been my deep place and this was where I thought from and this would be the area I was scared to address. Well, 
now this is the deep place and this is the area of the shallow that's that is starting to dissolve and every day it kind of goes deeper and deeper and deeper and i don't only mean this in a sense of slipping into my heart i mean this in a sense of that i literally actually feel my body all day now like that is really weird when you're in your head you don't even feel your body throughout the day because you're going this issue that i have to deal with is life and death and because that issue over here is this life or death thing that you have to take on your um that's priority. Whatever feels like life and death has to take priority because it's life and death, even if it's totally not life and death. Our mind tricks us into thinking it is. So that is priority. So it's designed so if a tiger jumps out that you run versus just sitting there and feeling, right? Well, we've made everything life and death. We've made what that person thinks of you. We've made every single thing in our mind life and death. So if I'm addressing something in my head that I think I have to fix, I cut myself off from my body because my mind's trying to survive, but it's trying to survive 24 hours a day. And stress is just small doses of fight or flight constantly entering your body. And that's what causes us to perspire and sweat and all these different things because they're, they're, they're self-defense mechanisms that were designed for like if a tiger jumped out at you, but instead we're, we're, it, at war with our mind, picturing future bad scenarios that you'll have to deal with, you know? What if, what if we do bad in the job interview? Bang, your mind's like, oh, we gotta survive because that would be death if we don't do well. So as I do all of this, as I'm talking to you right now from meditating two hours a day, I'm talking to you and at the same time, I can feel every aspect of my body. I can feel, because uh, there aren't really blockages anymore. I feel the blood pumping through my body. I feel, I feel very free and um, every day the depth goes deeper and deeper and deeper and it seems to start going more outward and what you care about more is just the whole world versus just you surviving and you. You're, you care, you're, you, the depth starts to go more towards your city and then it's your community and then it's the whole world. And as you keep getting deeper in yourself, you start making decisions from what would the world want, not what do I want, not what do I need to do to survive. So when we're moving from a selfish place, it's because we're in fight or flight in our mind and we're doing whatever we have to do to survive. Um, so we think about ourselves all the time. But as you access more and more of yourself and you identify that those are all lies, you start to access this freedom, this thing, and you keep going deeper and deeper. And the depth starts to leave you and you start to go, what can I do for the world? What does the world want? And decisions that you make are, you know, part of me is doing this meditation because I want to transform the world because I can't transform it from a shallow level in my mind. But the more depth I access in myself, the more the world will, I'll prove to myself something and people will see that this level of freedom exists and people will want to access that in them because every person has this ability. They just believe they don't. The mind will do everything it can to survive and not let you obliterate the fear. So when you want to think about you meditating, your mind will come up with why you can't as a life-saving device because it will be death of the survival state of your mind and it'll be birth of your soul. And the fight or flight will still be there when you actually need it. If a real tiger is in front of you, you'll use it. But you don't need it um, because you're thinking of how you'll do at a job interview the next day or what your ex thinks of you. That You don't need fight or flight for that. And um, that's the trap that we've been living in as a society is, is being in the illusion that we're going to die as a and it's just our thoughts it's just our reaction to our thoughts and as i keep doing this i become more and more aware of the awareness as i do make these videos for you i understand now it's like I'm, it's like journaling what i just realized so my connection is more actually to the world because i understand that the fears of my fight or flight you know survival mechanisms are not true and so when you realize you're panicking over, you know, what you're going to eat 
<laughs> you go, oh, wait, maybe I'm activating the fight or flight a little too much. And then you identify it as a lie and you keep spreading. So that's what we're here to do is connect to the whole world. And um, I am in love with doing this. It is helping me only want to connect with the deepest people that have access there wanting to connect with the world and um, only take care of the deepest, most most important issues at the core, and which is like the, the meditation thing and accessing this. I'm sure that it's raising the bar uh, of how free you can be in the world, and I think that that's huge. And um, yeah, day 23, insane. <laughs>